over here to the Flying J and uh, I don't know the city that this is, but it's by Golden Valley, Arizona, by where we were supposed to deliver at 10 o'clock this morning. It's now about noon. And they told us to go back over there at midnight, like they said, but wonder how it'll be. I wonder if there'll be like a line of trucks clear out to the highway. Cause everyone else came over here to do the same thing and got turned away. Anyway, this is a new Flying J out here by, well, it's just past, it's exit 27, 28, something out here, out past Kingman. So it's a new one between uh, the one in California, Lake Havasu and the ones in Kingman. But we'll see what happens tonight. here in Yucca. I found out it's Yucca, Arizona. This new Flying J. It's about 9.30, 9.15, something like that. We're getting, we just got up from our second mat and we're gonna get a shower and go get ready to try to deliver this. I don't know if what'll happen. I hope they just take it. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get a shower. It's about 10 30 10 45 something like that and we're gonna go try to deliver this i don't know what'll happen guess we'll see
guess we're going to get to deliver. Seems like they're here now. They're going to let me in. i got to fill out this thing to check in like usual at Interstate Warehouse. charging me a late fee of $264 and I wasn't late I got here and they sent me away and I paid it thinking it was the lumper but it wasn't the lumper it was a late fee I don't even know ridiculous $254 late fee
do y'all charge the late fee when you aren't there? Yeah, I came on in time for my appointment, and the guard told me to leave and come back after midnight. And then I get here, and y'all charge me a two hundred and fifty dollar late fee. Yeah. The guard told me no one was here until midnight. Okay, that's not what your guard told me. told me to leave no one was here until midnight. Well, I was here at 4 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. And she told me to get out of here and not come back till after midnight. Email are you referring to? Uh, Alright, I don't know what that is. Because I definitely would have been here, but she told me to. She said nobody was here. Okay, I can't go off anything but what the guard tells me though. So I shouldn't have to pay $250 late fee. Yeah. Okay. My dispatch will take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the guard messed this up is what happened. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I would have been here and got unloaded. Not waited over there at the truck stop. what the man said it was the guard that messed everything up she said they weren't open till midnight but they were open at eight o'clock in the morning so if i had to come back over here that got in but i didn't know i guess lesson learned don't trust the guard so that's kind of irritating because now i probably won't get any uh any detention or anything out of it but i wasn't late i did what the guard told me to do but anyway, it was paying twenty eight fifty five eighteen on this one. Line haul is twenty four oh three seventy six. There was some tolls in it for Oklahoma, twenty dollars and seventy seven cents. Fuel surcharge was four hundred and thirty sixty five. It would have been decent if I hadn't been delayed a day waiting when the guard messed everything up. Oh well. Move on. What can you do?
anyway that's it for this video so y'all like comment and sub like comment and subscribe and share if you want to i'm trying to grow the channel and thank y'all for watching have a good one